Welcome to Wolfworks Studio. My name is Betsy Wolston. We're happy to have you here. I'd like you to meet Zoya. She is the wolf of Wolfworks Studio. I've been working out of this space in the Pierce Irrigation Building, built in 1930 in the Whitaker neighborhood of Eugene, Oregon. For close to 30 years, I've built many public projects in here, along with gallery shows, private commissions. We do a lot in here. I'm gonna give you a quick little peek of everything and then take you through piece by piece, part by part of some of my process and how it works. And also invite you into understanding what is important. I'm gonna give you a little tour of my process. Um, I am slip casting now. I am primarily known as a hand builder, but I am now in the process of slip casting. These are my plaster molds. What I got here is, this is actually greenware. This is clay that is in the process of drying. It's porcelain. And you can see it's picked up some of the flowers and the hair. And so these have not been fired yet. They're, they're kind of like eggshells. If I dropped it, it would all just turn to dust. You can see a feather in there. And sometimes I have to clean them up a little bit. Like this one here, you'll see that some of the clay is still there. I sometimes like need to just break that off. Sometimes I'll pull the feathers out. Sometimes I'll just put them in the kiln and let it burn out because um, when you start trying to pull some of this out, you can damage really some of these texture, very um, tender and very delicate textures. So these would actually, once they dry, they would actually go into the kiln. And the first step after taking them out of the kiln once they're bisque fired is to black wash. It's an underglaze. I spread evenly across the surface of the whole piece to get into all the delicate cracks and parts of the piece. And then I proceed to rinse it off. And with that, it reveals the beautiful, delicate lines of the hair, or the feathers, or the bones, or plants, of whatever was left behind. Once the black wash is completed, it's time now to apply various oxide colors and glazes and underglaze pencils. I use an assortment of all types of materials for creating the imagery that I reveal in the specs. Some come 
easier than others. Some ask that you just see them. With the concave pieces, I tend to fill them with clear or matte colored glazes. I have a collection of glaze test pots that I use to determine what would I like to try on this one next. 